The other day, someone promised me one of the best graphics cards you can get for an insane price. It was a 1080 Ti for $450, which if you don't know, still gets listed for around $750 online. Long story short, I reached out to this guy through Craigslist. He said he was gonna sell me the card. And then when he finally shows up, he ends up trying to sell me a completely different card. Now, this was one of the few times I slipped up and didn't have a camera recording because you guys already know, I love to show a good scam, but that's not what this story is about today. So immediately after telling the guy to get lost, I start looking through all of the local online marketplaces because I already had the $450 in cash and I was looking to try and find something that I could flip. And that is when I came across this. This is an ad that was on the Facebook marketplace for a computer, a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse. The asking price was $450, which I thought was amazing because I could tell that some of the items there were worth a lot of money. On top of that, the description said one owner belong to my adult son. Immediately in my mind, I was like, okay, dad got really pissed off at his grown ass son who is still living with him to the point where he is now selling all of his son's stuff. It looks like dad doesn't know what this stuff's worth. So let's just go ahead and pay him his full asking price. I know that might sound greedy on my end, but keep listening. I reached out to the guy asking if I could buy it. And he responded by telling me that over 20 people had reached out to him in the last half hour trying to buy the computer and one was gonna be there in two hours to buy it for $400. I asked him if I come right now and pay you your full asking price, would you sell it to me? He agreed and this is what happened. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm the one that came by to check out the computer. Awesome. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, I've had, I can't believe the response I've had. I just put it on last <laughs> night. I think I've had now over like 22 people or something. And it blew up, yeah. Do you, I, can't believe I mean, there is a gaming craze going on lately, yeah. so that's yeah. probably why that is. I, I don't know a lot about it. I don't know mm -hmm. if I told you. It, it, it belonged to my adult son. Mm -hmm. And uh, he passed away last year. He was 33. Oh, and I'm had sorry. some issues and stuff, but... But anyway, this has nothing to do with the past. So mm -hmm. I, it's just uh, my explanation why I really don't know okay. much about it. So Would it be all right to like flip it oh, on and yeah. see? Okay, the only cool. thing I'll say I did do back when, about six months ago when I took some of the original pictures that I posted, I tried to erase files that were his like personal ones because mm -hmm. he, he was, I think, on a lot of these gaming sites. I think I said he's 33. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't want to leave financial stuff in there. Mm -hmm. But I also didn't want to just wipe clean everything because mm -hmm. there was lots of movies and stuff on there. I see. So I hope I didn't wipe out some things that maybe needed to go ahead and you, you fire okay. it. You know more about it. I think the time, the way I did is I push that button there. Let's go. see. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I can do this because I actually, I know quite a bit about, is it okay if I say Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know quite a bit about computers. So, I mean, I can do this. I figured. My know. original intention was to just, you know, wipe it clean and just yeah. do a fresh install of Windows. Yeah. Um, if you want. What I can do is, like, obviously I don't want to pry or anything like that, but if I see, if you want me to look through it and if I see something that I would just you say would... just erase it. That, no, you don't have to send anything to me. Are you sure? Because yeah. if there's anything important, I would, you no, know, I obviously. Just, uh, oh, okay. Here, what you're doing then, here's the other thing. This whole box of stuff I think is related to it. All okay. Paperwork. Oh, drivers and, and I whatnot. I think this I was see. like, yeah, there's some original stuff that was, because that, I think he did, he I was see. really good in computers and stuff. I think he kind of added to it. Oh wow, it's even got an indicator of the temperatures. That's very cool. Yeah. Okay. I think he did some stuff he used. Not everybody does. I mean, I don't no, know. he's. I can. I can tell because one of the first indicators is um he was smart enough to know that you don't actually have to pay for Windows. Oh, okay. So, okay. <laughs> so that's one thing that I can tell he was. He he knew his way around computers for sure. And the only thing game wise I put in here because it means nothing to me is this, but I don't see it a. a Oh, getting, Mass Effect? Uh, okay. So you can throw it away. You know. If I find something else that goes with it, I'll let you know if you okay. want it. Three. One, two, three, four, five, four. Okay. This should be 450, but obviously you count too. I don't want to okay. shortchange you. Appreciate it. My yeah. wife gets it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you can just lay the bo uh, the box right here on top. That would be fine. Okay. And then I'm going to set this I'll actually in the front seat. Thank, uh, you. thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Have thank a good rest of the day. Bye-bye. All right. So we have the system. We got the monitor. 
uh, the computer with all its accessories back there. And uh, you know, I thought that was kind of sad. I, I mean, I, I did not expect to be um, buying someone's computer who had passed away. I, um, I I thought I was getting it from a dad who was like trying to punish his son, but you know, it turns out he's just getting rid of his stuff. So um, I, I think what we'll do to be as respectful as possible is I offered to look through, um, you know, the hard drives and send anything over to the father. So, you know, we'll try and do that. And, uh, if we find anything of importance, we'll send it over to his dad. So now that we got the system, let's head on back home. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up this computer and I'm going to do a very extensive search through all of the drives because I wasn't able to do as good of a job at the house because I didn't really have that much time. See if I can find anything. And if I can't, then I will go ahead and install Windows 10 and load our usual benchmarks. Um, but we will add something a little bit different this time around. One of the items in this box is Mass Effect 3. I'm assuming that this was this guy's favorite game. I'm hoping it was. Uh, because that's what we're going to be using for one of the benchmarks this time around. I've never played Mass Effect, but you know, I, I think that if someone got a hold of my computer, I, I would hope they took the time to play, you know, some games of League of Legends, because that's my favorite game, and, and it, it would mean a lot to me. So I've spent the last four and a half hours looking through all six drives in this computer and I found some stuff that the parents might want so I reached out to them through Facebook and if they want it, I'll send it over and if they don't, then I'm just gonna delete it out of respect. Aside from that, I finally had a chance to check what components are inside this system and I'll tell you right off the bat, I am definitely impressed. Keep in mind this computer was built around five years ago and even today, this tower is still very relevant for any task like video editing, rendering, gaming, you name it. So I was actually able to check the components inside the system with a nice little program called CPU-Z. For any of you that are building a computer or purchase one second hand and you really wanna see all the parts inside your computer other than the case, the power supply, as well as the drives, you can download this for free and it will tell you every single part that you want to know. Starting with the processor, this computer has an i7-4770K, which is a processor that was released late in 2013 and has four cores and eight threads and is overclockable. For my very first serious computer, I actually had the i7-4770, which is the non-overclockable version of this processor, and even that was powerful enough to get me through some serious editing as well as some gaming. So the fact that this is overclockable means it's gonna be even more powerful than that one. As for the motherboard, this thing is running off of a Maximus 6 Extreme. Now, for those of you computer builders out there, you know what a Maximus motherboard is, but for those of you that aren't, a Maximus motherboard is a very high-end, enthusiast-level PC motherboard. If you ever buy a Maximus motherboard made by Asus for your computer, you know that you are going to be spending up to $200, $300, $400 for for this high-end motherboard. And the reason they cost so much is because one, they look really cool, and number two, they come with a lot of extra features that a lot of normal motherboards don't have. As for the memory, this computer is running off of eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, which is actually clocked at 2133 megahertz. Now for DDR3 memory, that is some of the fastest RAM you can get. Unfortunately, it is only eight gigabytes, so I wonder how that will affect our gaming performance on modern day titles. And then the graphics card is an EVGA GTX 770, which is definitely a bit of an older card. And out of everything in this system, that would be the thing to hold it back the most, at least in terms of its gaming performance. It's not a weak card by any means, and it'll definitely be able to play any game, at least at low settings at 1080p. But the fact that it has two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory might limit it when it comes to some very demanding games. And lastly, the most unique and interesting part of this computer, like I touched on before, are the six drives. Now the boot drive is a 120 gigabyte SSD, which definitely costs a lot more money back then than it does today in 2018, where you can find them for like 20 to $30. The other five drives are hard disk drives, which vary in sizes. Without mentioning any of the personal information, a lot of the stuff I saw on there was music, movies, and games. And it's interesting. After I got to look through all of the stuff that he had, and see how much of his interests overlapped with a lot of the stuff that I was into growing up and I'm still into now. I feel like I kind of got to meet him in a way and it definitely made me, you know, come back kind of to the more sad feeling that I was having earlier in the making of this video because 
this seems like a guy that I definitely would have got along with and you know at the very least we have a lot of similar interests and it's just I don't know it's a shame that I couldn't buy this computer from him because I mean you know there's not too much you can tell just from a person's interest but from what I can see he was a pretty cool dude and uh, you know since we did have the same interests, I have to say that he is a cool dude. I mean, this guy had all of the shooter games that I grew up watching my older friends play because one, I was too scared to play them and two, my parents wouldn't buy them for me. So it was definitely a massive throwback going through all this stuff. Now concerning the actual price of this tower, a lot of this stuff isn't actually available anymore for a regular sale. So it's kind of hard to give it an estimate based off of internet searches, but based off of the performance that it can output. If I were to give it an honest, fair valuation used, the tower itself is worth around $400. So if we were to add that up with the rest of this setup, right now, if I were to try and sell everything, I believe that I would get around $700 for all of it. So as you can see, this was a pretty good purchase, but anyways, enough of all that. It's time to check the benchmarks and see how this thing holds up on our tests. So as you guys can see from the setup, this system is actually still very powerful. So this time around, I'd actually like to hear a little bit more from you guys. I'm curious to hear your opinion on the overall story of this computer and the actual build quality, because in my opinion, I'm actually pretty impressed. So if you've made it this far in the video, I'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.